this is also a recap okay so you'll see from the scheme of work on the right hand side there that point five on it was to recap estimating the mean and finding the modal cast from root frequency tables so this is ever so similar to what we were doing yesterday okay the only difference is that first column okay that first column which says length of rain that was like the number of goals being scored yesterday okay that's the equivalent so the difference obviously is here what we're saying with this question charles found out the length of the reign of each of 41 kings he used this information to complete the frequency tables so what do we know about that first line you've got to get behind what's going on that first line that i'm just underlining in light blue should hopefully come through in a second what is that little bit there telling us that's telling us that 14 kings ruled for between naught and 10 years okay the next row tells us that 13 kings ruled for between 10 and 20 years and so on so we don't actually know exactly how long those kings reign for so back to that first row in light blue so some of those 14 kings might only have reigned for a day or two okay some of them might have reigned for nine years or six years or three years we just don't know so the best we can do is to make an estimate so that's the only extra step to today's lesson okay that column what i'm just about to highlight in orange that is the midpoint of the length of rain it's halfway along so halfway between naught and 10 is 5 halfway between 10 and 20 is 15 and so on okay so that's the only additional step we are estimating that those 14 kings reigned for exactly five years all right and then the next row we're estimating that those 13 kings reigned for exactly 15 years and so on now once you've done that additional extra step of popping in that column in orange the rest of it is exactly like yesterday so when we are estimating the mean now we've got to call it estimating the mean okay we've got to call it estimating because we've made that assumption that those 14 kings reign for exactly five years so we've got to call it an estimate but we now just cross multiply all right we did 14 times 5 to get 70. we did 13 times 15 to get 195 okay and then so on so we cross multiply to get all of these subtotals at the end and then we add up all of those years so 70 add 195 add 200 add 140 add 90 that gives us 695 years in total we then divide that by the 41 kings to estimate that they reigned for exactly 16.95 years each now big point here guys this is an estimate but don't go and say okay so that's roughly 17 years okay that's not the type of estimating we're talking about here this is an this is an estimate because of, of that original assumption we made that the 14 kings reigned for exactly five years and so on so please don't fall in the trap of right at the end of the question when because they've asked you for the estimate of the mean that you go and say okay i'm going to call that 17 years it isn't it is 16.95 now other things they can ask you so that's estimating the mean the other thing they could ask you is just like yesterday. So remember we had the mode yesterday was what which is what happened most often. Well, it's the same thing here. What happened most often? Well, we had 14 kings reigned. OK, 14 kings. That's the biggest number of um, kings. Now, how long did they reign for? Now, this is now called the modal class. So just like yesterday, you look across to the left hand column but you then absolutely copy that down exactly. Don't make the mistake of going for that five in the middle. The modal class, you're gonna copy out exactly as they've done it in that column. All right, now that's just inequality signs. That's just telling you that the length of reign was greater than zero years 
or less than or equal to 10 years. But the key bit that you've got to remember is just that that is um, just copy out whatever is in that left hand corner co column exactly if they ask for the modal class. So number one, we worked out the estimate of the mean. I did that in green at the bottom left. Number two, we've just worked out the modal class, the most. And the third thing they can ask you is the equivalent of yesterday when they were asking you for the median, the middle one. You've got to find the class interval containing the median. So exactly the same as yesterday. To work out the middle one, okay, to work out the middle one, we start off by seeing how many kings we've got. We've got 41 kings. We go and divide 41 by 2 to get halfway along. And we want the 20th or the 21st king. So you work your way down. In that first row, we've got 14 kings. Have we got to our 20th or our 21st king yet? No, we haven't. So move down to the second row. How many kings have we now looked at in total? Well, that's 14 add 13. Just waiting for it to come through. There we go. 14 and 13, which is 27 kings. So have we now got to our middle king, our 20th or our 21st? Yes, we have. Our middle king is one of those 13. So our final answer for the class interval containing the median, again, we're going to copy out exactly what's in that left-hand column. So 10 the inequality sign L, inequality sign 20. So that's it, folks. Your Dr. Frost worksheet today will be asking you to work out either to estimate the mean, so you follow what I did in number one, the modal class, what I did in number two, or finding the class interval containing the median, which is number three there. OK, so uh, please go and have a look, uh, go and complete those questions on Dr. Frost. As always, I've attached the worksheets on Teams to uh, so the Word document worksheet to, to Teams uh, under 14.5. So with a bit of luck, you've run that off in advance. Otherwise, I suggest you run that off now. Or alternatively, if it's difficult for you to print things off, as I've said before, you can just read the questions on Dr. Frost and just do your workings in a book, okay? Okay, guys, I'm just gonna stop the recording now. Okay, so please don't start talking or turning your cameras on until I say you can, all right? Because I, um, but I'm just gonna stop the recording.